Hello everyone. Welcome to the another video with a very exciting news and that is this is related to the Phi 3 announcement from the Microsoft. So if you are not sure what is Phi 3, I will quickly point you to the news. So this was the news which was published two days ago and it is about the release of Phi 3, the small language model with big potential. And this is one of the biggest news which is out from Microsoft this week. And we all know that when we are working with uh, large language models, we get almost accurate response, a very great response. But this greatness comes with a cost and that cost is very much related to our resource requirements. So you need like high power CPUs, you need high RAMs in order to execute or run the LLM on your machine. But that because of that limitation, not everyone is able to use the LLMs. And that's why we have small language model for our rescue. So Phi3 is just one step towards that. And using Phi3 model, we can run this model. We can use this model in the environments where we have limited set of computation and we have like some kind of resource constraints. And the most important thing is I can quickly show you the benchmark. So although it is small, but it is actually very performant. So let me zoom it a bit. So here you can see uh, this is a graph between a quality and the size. The x-axis is showing the size, which is st from smaller to larger. And then we have a y-axis, which is talking about the quality. And these green ones are the five variants. So today, 5.3 comes in four variants. 5.3 mini, which is for 120 which supports 128k context length then we have 53 mini with 4k context length we have 53 small and medium which is still in preview so if you will look at this particular screen the size wise these are very small but if you will look at the performance it is like much better than uh, mistral gemma as well as llama 3 and when you will look at the 53 small it is like too good as compared to these 7 billion models and coming on to this one, uh, the Phi 3 medium, which is again like amazing, I would say. The results and the outcomes we are getting out of these models are very, very impressive. So if you want to use these models, so these two, specifically the mini versions, mini variants, these are available on Azure AI Studio. It is also available, uh, these are also available on Hugging Face and Olama. But like I said, these two are still in preview. So you can go ahead and at least experiment with these uh, Phi 3 mini variants. And if you are going with Azure AI Studio, then you have an added advantage wherein you can, using the existing tools or the inbuilt tools of Azure AI Studio, you can evaluate the model, you can fine tune it. In fact, you can deploy your model directly from the AI Studio. So I would recommend you to give a try to this model using AI Studio because there you have a nice interface and you need not to write much of code or no need to click much here and there. And see this line. So some customers may only need small models, some need big models and many are going with the hybrid scenario. So you can definitely check on these and then decide which one is the correct one for you. Uh, one more thing I would like to show you is this one so there is a technical report so if you want to understand the internals like what is behind the scene then you can definitely go and read this research paper so what this is claiming is this mini version mini variant you can even run it on your phone so you can imagine how small it is and this is the little description about it so this model is like a mini one is 3.8 billion parameter which is trained on 3.3 trillion tokens and it is like comparing with the rivals such as Mistral and GPT-3.5. So I would definitely recommend you to just check this paper one and you will get a good idea about it. Apart from that, um, I can quickly show you how we can get started. So first of all, in order to get started, you need to have an Azure subscription. Then you can create a resource group in any region and we just need a... We just need an instance of a machine learning studio. So what you can do is you can click on create in your resource group and search for machine learning. So this is the very first link where you can click and create your first namespace. So you need to provide all these details. Click on review plus create and it will take few minutes like two to three minutes and will get your 
workspace ready. So I have already created one. So this is the one which I created. I will click on this URL so that it will take me to the studio. Now this is a machine learning studio and here you can see all the models are listed over here and this is the place where you have all the Gen AI models. So click on view all and the latest releases you will see definitely on the top. These are the recent announcements which happened recently. And if you are not seeing these models here, you can use this search bar to search for the model. So let's say if you want five, then all the models which are having PHI in its name will appear over here. So let's close this and I'm going to click on view models here. So these are the variants available. I'm going to check this one out. So 128K mini variant. Now, you must have already seen this UI earlier when I was explaining other models, but if you want uh, here, if you're here for the very first time, then here you can see the description, like what this model about, what are the variant, uh, variants available, and here are the technical reports and the blog if you want to read more about this. Then this is the training details, like what are the parameters, what all they have used while training this model. So here you can see the architecture wise is this 3.8 billion parameters and it has used 128k tokens. This is the GPU training time was seven days and the training data which was used was 3.3 trillion tokens. And it works with the text mode only. So you cannot go ahead and give images as an input. Then these, uh, this is the detail for the data set, what all they have used. So what they are saying is they have created a synthet uh, synthetic data for math, coding, common sense, reasoning, and all these things. So the 5.3 model, let me quickly share one URL. So this is another news of the same day and here they have published this one. So this is very important. I would really like to highlight this. Let me zoom it a bit. Okay, so this is the table uh, which is giving you some benchmarks. So it is with respect to the Phi series, with respect to Gemma, Mistral, Llama, GPT-3, 5 Turbo and the Cloud. So and the parameters of the category it is comparing against as the, these are the six categories. So if you will look at these numbers, you will see that it is doing very well when it comes to specifically to math and the reasoning. So I'm very much interested in math one. So let's have a look at this. So here you can see the even the 5.3 mini 4K and 128K is reaching up to 80, 80 plus. And here you will see that none of these are even touching 80. So it means that it is very, very good. And when it is coming to the medium variant, it is 90 plus. Similarly, if you will see the, if you will see this one, the reasoning section. Here also you will see pretty good numbers. So looking at this, I'm going to try out at least one scenario with the math problem. Rest all you can try it out on the same model. So, and that's the same thing. They are mentioning it over here that it is trained on these different types of data. Then the primary use case which you can consider is this kind of model is very useful when you have like a memory constraint, compute constraint environment, you have latency requirements and where you are looking for strong reasoning specifically with respect to some logic or the math related stuff. So if these are your cases, then feel free to try out this mini variant. Then this is the benchmark again, they are displaying it over here. And here are the inference samples. So if you want to try it out, this is the Python notebook. And these are the fine tuning samples looking at the input data. So this, as this is a chat model, so it is using user role. And this is the question from the user. And the output is definitely in the form of text. So this is all you can do. Let me quickly try out here. Let's try some math puzzle, which I have just grabbed it from here. So I'm going to take this one and let's ask the question here. Using only an addition, how do you add eight eights and get the number thousand? And here you can see how fast it got the results. It's like very, very fast. So that's how you can do it. If you want, we can try one more question. And 
and here you go so that's how it is and let me validate them so one two and three this is perfect so i hope you got an idea about how to use this mini and feel free to check out this particular notebook which is placed over here and you will get an idea how to use this in your application now one more thing which i forgot to mention is the settings so here you can provide all the parameters so if you are just playing in the playground just make sure to adjust these parameters as per your requirement so that's all i have for today hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching